Hello everybody. Welcome. It is Thursday. It is time for Reap the Core by Dawn. Hanger. This came from Hardworking Mom. Um, her uh, My affiliate link is in the comments and Susan will also add that in. I put it at the very top um, in the comments but if you need it again we can always put it back in. She has different um, door hangers. This isn't the only one. She has several. She's actually got a huge variety of them. So go check those out. Use my link and get you a door hanger. Believe me, they're easy to paint. All right, so these all pieces come off. And we're going to paint them and then glue them on. So it's got the little uh, flamingo and then is the wing that goes on there. So that's two pieces there. The sunglasses that go on the flamingo. You get three flower cutouts. They all have the lines on them, so it's like pretty much paint by number, just without the numbers. And then we've got our little hello. Now this uses a little delicate, so I don't want to toss that around too much because I don't want to break it, but all right. So I'm gonna dust this off. <clears throat> Seeing which side is the better side. We're going to go with this side right here. Alright, so I got my little rag here. I've got my water. We're all set to go. Okay, so everybody normally paints these just a, a plain white background or light colored background. I'm going to do something I saw on TikTok. Yes, I am learning something from TikTok. We are going to do that. And I did have uh, ask Rachel to send me the one that she painted, a picture of it, so that I would have something to go by. Because I'm not a painter, guys. I just need to have something to look at. I'm going to do my own thing, but I want to see what someone else did. So, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. So, the right. primary colors I'm using are the pink, the yellow, and the um, turquoise. Let me see which one is the new one. This is the new one. Yeah, that's the new one. I have two different pinks here and my yellow. There's my yellow. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start with my pink. I didn't take the little wrapper thing off of the top. Everybody enjoy their 4th of July. Everybody have a good time. Anybody do anything? We went to, um, if you saw my business page, we went to South Carolina. My son-in-law puts on a huge show. They're those those neighbors. Um, they put on a huge show. They actually did it for two nights because um, all the neighbors did it on Sunday, and then my son-in-law did it on Monday. Um, but it was nice. They, they always do such a good job. And they always buy so many fireworks. And then, of course, we go down there and we buy more. So, But it was really nice. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pink on here at the top. I'm going to take my brush. And we're just going to do the top portion in the pink. get my sides here too while I'm at it. I've got it sitting on a little Lazy Susan so I can spin it around if I need to. So I'm not, I don't have to be perfect with it when I get towards the middle because we're going to blend all the colors together. I don't know if anybody else has seen this. Uh, I think I want a little bit more. a nice bright pink. It's actually called pure pink and it's from Walmart. So again these wood cutouts and the door hangers come from Hardworking Mom. She has all different kinds. We did a welcome one a sunflower one when we were down there for the retreat. 
All right, so there's that. All right, this one is called Pale Daffodil. This is also, all these paints are from Walmart. All right, so we're going to take the yellow, do the same thing. Just squirt that on there. We're going to take the brush. And it's okay if it mixes because they're all going to be blended together anyway. too much yellow on this one but that's okay gonna make it work well I'm definitely gonna have to go to Sam's now and see I hate to go over there on a weekend but I can't pass that up of course if I'd have waited then you know I probably wouldn't have gotten the ones I got the other day but All right, so there's the yellow. All right, so now we're putting on this turquoise color, and this is just called Caribbean. How perfect is that? So we're putting this on. There we go. All right, so can you see how that is? How they're all... Alright, so now I need to rinse this off. Alright, so now I have a clean cup of water if I don't drop it and make a mess. Alright, so now I have to take my brush, get it wet. It doesn't have very much in it. It's very little water. And then you take and just blend. Probably need a little more. There we go, that's better. So just take it and blend it. Just gotta get that brush wet because the paint is starting to dry. So it carries that yellow up into the pink and then it's gonna carry it down into the blue. So you get a little bit of that blue kind of throughout and then you have the yellow going into the pink and the blue. What do you think? I like it. I like it. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to make it work. I will go back and do my sides later. I didn't get all of them. All right, let me hold this up. I'm going to have paint all over the back of it. So there we go. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to set this aside and let it dry for a sec. Over here. All right, so first thing first, we're going to do the black. Where's my paper at? i my little piece of paper here so I don't get my thing all dirty. So I'm just putting this on top of here so that it doesn't get paint. I don't want to get paint on that and then put the next piece on and get paint on it. All right, we're going to use a little brush here. Oh, I need this, I guess. Like I said, I am not a painter, so bear with me, guys. I'm doing my best I can here. <laughs> can y'all see? This is jet black. And the edges, because these are lasered, the edges are already black, so you don't have to really worry about painting those. And I am not being gentle with this by any means because it's just not who I am. <laughs> Feel like a three-year-old when I'm painting anyway. So 
So everybody had a good 4th of July. What else have we got going on for the summer? Anybody doing any shows? I, like I said, I have one at the end of this month. I don't normally do them in the summertime. It's way too hot in North Carolina. But because sales have been slow and I have a lot of inventory, i got to get rid of it because I need to make room for next season. My husband and I were supposed to go over to storage today and get my fall and Christmas stuff out, and we both kind of just were lazy. He's off today and tomorrow. He had to use some time before he lost it. So he took today and tomorrow off. And we were both just kind of lazy. I did some computer stuff, and he piddled around on his computer, and that was about all we did. We were, said we were going to go to storage, and we never did, so... It would have been way too hot by the time we decided to do anything anyway, so. And then tomorrow he's got a dental appointment, so. After he gets done with that, I think we're going to go to um, Lowe's. And then um, probably go over to storage either before or after that, I don't know. I'm just making sure I'm getting all the white spots. I don't want to see any white. I'm going to have paint on my hands. I don't mind having the paint on my hands. I just have to remember to wipe my hands before I touch the next piece. So I don't spread the wrong colors. And mess it all up. I just see some globs on the inside where it's already got that black edge but I don't want a big glob sitting there, so I'm just getting that out of the way. Cleaning it up. There we go. All right, so there's the hello. All right, so I'm going to do this part first. All right, so this one is a little bit lighter than the other one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lighter on the body and the dark on the wing. How I got water all over everything. I mean, I know how I got it on there, but I didn't know I got it all over that. So this one is called Paradise Pink. I'm going to use a different brush for this one. I know that's the right side because of the, the his feet, but it just this side looks smoother. All right, so we're just going to give this one a coat of pink. Again, this is Paradise Pink from Walmart. Because I don't paint a lot, I don't, um, you know, I just buy the Walmart paint. It works for me. Sometimes you have to do multiple coats, but it's all right. So do any of you do your own painting? I say I'm not going to do it, and then I end up buying stuff to paint again. The little thing doesn't want to turn, I don't know why. <clears throat> so what else is going on, guys? Anybody got anything good to share? Any wins this week? Anybody got a win? My grandson, my second grandson, Brandon, just got a job. So now my daughter, all three of her oldest are working now. So they probably won't be coming down to visit much anymore because the odds of them all having the same weekend off are pretty slim but he was super excited they call I guess they sent him a, a message the day that we left which was Tuesday so he was really excited about that can't blame him his first job and my granddaughter is working at a deli down there and then my oldest grandson works at Harley-Davidson So, 
we had so much fun seeing the kids and hanging out. They're a lot of fun to be around. And they still like spending time with us, so that's always a plus. You know, they they haven't gotten to that point yet where they're like, nah, I'm good, I'll go do this. Which is nice. Right, I need something a little bit thinner to do around here. And I couldn't tell you what kind of brushes these are. I just picked them up at Walmart in the craft section. I need something smaller though. I'm going to use this one. I need to go around the beak. And I will outline all this so it doesn't matter if I get a little bit over because it's going to be covered up anyway. So yeah, we did that. We did get to go swimming for about five minutes, if that. We literally got in the pool and the kids had taken their big floaties and we were, hop I was hopping on one of those. And just as I did, the guy come around and said, Oh, we got thunderstorms in the area. We gotta get out. So that ended that. And y'all know how much I love the pool. <laughs> so I was real upset that I didn't get to spend more time in the pool. Because I just stayed there all night. And we were thought about going back, but by the time it ended, it was time to do fireworks and, and eat and stuff. So. We didn't get to do that, but hopefully next time. I have to go back down there in August. My daughter and son-in-law are going away for their anniversary, and I'm going to go down and stay with the kids because um, the two middle ones are not driving yet, so they need someone to get them to and from work. And then the little ones, you know, someone to watch them while the older ones are at work. So my daughter's got five, and they range from 17 to 9. So, got 17, 16, 15, 14, and 9. <laughs> I'm amazed I can remember it. <clears throat> Alright, there's that. Let's let that dry for a little bit. Oh, where's my little thing at? I have a thing to set my stuff on to dry. And then we'll do his little beak in a second. All right, let's do the darker pink on this one. That was pure pink. No, that was paradise pink. We're going to use pure pink on this part here, the wing. Let's see how much darker it is. I wanted it darker. Well, it's a different shade, that's all. Um, this goes this way. I got to make sure I have it going the right direction. I didn't need that much pink. I only have the two di uh, two shades of pink, so I have to do what I have with what I have. So some days. getting the paint in those little crevices. There we go. Let's switch this. I'm going to use up the rest of this black here and paint the glasses. This one's done. One more piece oh, done. All right, um, we're going to use the same yellow. This is daf uh, pale daffodil. I'm going to flip this over. Don't need as much, but I'll probably pour it anyway. 
Let's use this one. I don't want to get stuff all over it. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing. You'll be able to see the lines because they're etched in there. So I'll be able to go back later and draw the lines in that in. But the yellow may take um, two coats, so I want to get that on there. So these are really easy to do, you guys. And then just put a little bow on it and you're all good to go. Keep it on your door or sell it in your shop. Quick and easy, something to do. I'll be putting this one in my um, show at the end of the month. Probably should get a couple more and do them. Door hangers like this go really good. Um, I bought some pre-made ones and added bows and that to it last time. And those were the very first things I sold at my last show. They were all gone first thing. And then people wanted more. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have any more. All right, there we go. The yellow one. You can't see the, the little flower part um, there right now, but I promise you it's there. You'll see it. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, turquoise. I'm going to do a turquoise one next. pretty good coverage on the teal. I have a little piece of something in there. Alright, so there's the teal one and then we're going to do a purple one. Alright, so this one is called Concord Grape. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good color. It'll work. So if you want to get notified when I go live, type in the word email, I'll send you the link, and then you just sign up for my email list, and every week you'll get an email letting you know, hey, I'm going live, this is what I'm making, you get to see a preview of it, and it's got a bunch of other good stuff in there too. I don't spam you. I send it out when I go live and I send it out when I have um, some news to share. Um, I don't send you an email every time I put something in my shop unless it's, you know, new ribbon or something for you guys to buy. Okay, there we go. There's our purple. Alright, all the pieces are and I hope I did them in the right order so that these other ones are dry now or close to being dry. If not, I have my heat gun out. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some, um, I guess, shading, whatever you want to call it. Not shading, um, detail work. I don't know all these technical terms, you guys. Oh, no, we got to do his beak. Ah, that's what I forgot. Alright, let's do this. Get this little guy's beak going here. So these things dry pretty quick. And it really doesn't need a second coat on most of these pieces. I don't see any of them that really need a second coat. Just trying not to make a mess of his beak here.
We're done. There's his little beak. All right. Dry. All right. So this is going to go on. All right. Let's do some detail on this. Um, All right. Let's see. We'll refresh our black here for a second. I need to get that in the water. Alright, so I was just going to use my paint pen to do the little details, but to go around and do the outlines on here, I think I'm going to use this, see if this works. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this, but we'll try it. Keep it wet, I know that. Going along the outline here. Thankfully the wood already has that little etching in it, so that helps to guide me. Keeps my hand a little straighter. There we go. There's the black. It's not, I mean, it's not, you know, not going to be perfect. There we go. Alright, we'll set this one back up here. Let me do these while I have them out. So we're doing the yellow. I'm going to outline this one. I guess this is my little stem here. I should have painted that a different color. This is what I was going to use my paint pen to do, but since I have the black out and the brush, I might as well just carry on. That's why I'm looking at Rachel's um, painting to see the out where the outlines in that are. All right, let's see if we can speed this one up a little bit. Trying not to get my fingers in the paint, but there. There's our blue. <laughs> All right, this is the last one for here. Let's see if we can get this one. I forgot to do my centers. No, oh, and I didn't do the three little things on here. Good thing I went back. There we go. 
All right, we are almost done. There we go. All right, we did the black. That, that. Um, I'm not going to do... Oh, I need to do this one. Dug on it. Oh, see? Now I painted it to the thing. All right, so we're going to do this one, then we're going to do the white, then we can put everything together. That's outlined. All right, now, what do I need? I'm not doing anything to the hello, the um, flowers. I think I'm gonna do the little center stem yellow or the little centers yellow. And then we're just gonna put some white on the glasses and that's it. And if I don't have the glue to put this on there, I'm going to set it all on there so y'all can see it. And then I will glue it after because I got to find the glue. Um, hot glue will not hold it, so I have to use regular. There's that one. And that one. There we go. Obviously that one's already got yellow, so I don't have to do that one. Well, it is, yeah, it's pretty dry. It's, none of them are wet. The bottom is not wet, and that's what I have to glue everything to. So that's the one that I wanted. That's why I did that first, so it would be done. I have East uh, 6000 also. All right, so let's do some white highlights, and then I will set it all on there. And like I said, I will probably glue it after I mean once I put it on there I mean you guys see where it's going so all right let's get the white out let's see which one's which they're both the same oh that one's dishwasher safe that's good to know So the replay will be up on my Facebook page and on YouTube. I will edit this down and put it on my YouTube channel. I was doing... All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm trying to do like Rachel's little wispy thingies here. highlights to get done I'm gonna do all right this goes on this way I gotta remember which way it goes I want the little wings yeah that works I might go back and glitter these also. Give it a little sparkle. All right, there we go. Oh, I want to do his glasses real quick. All right, so I'm going to do his sunglasses. I'm going to outline these in white. Cute. All right, all right, there's our background. Can y'all see that okay? Yeah. All right, so here is our little flamingo. 
Flamingo. Let's do this. This way. So he sits along this edge right here, this curve. And then this sits on here like this. Right there. So all these pieces are going to be glued together. I'm going to let them dry, I think, a little longer. This bottom, the pink feels a little tacky still. Let's see. The hello is going to go right there. I need his glasses on, of course. We've got our little yellow flower, we've got our purple flower, and our blue one. What do you think? And all this will be glued on. And then we'll have a hanger. I'm waiting for it to catch up. I like it. Or this could go down here. Either way, top or bottom. And then I'm going to put some glitter on there. I might put some glitter on a few other things. Maybe the centers of the little flowers. It's really cute, isn't it? Alright guys, so a hanger goes on there. We'll put a bow on it maybe. Um, like I said, let me finish it up and get everything glued in place. I'll kind of know better what I want to do from there. But I really, really like how this turned out. So... You haven't seen it before yet. Yeah. These are sold by uh, Hardworking Mom. The link is in the comments. Um, if you want to buy one, she has other door hangers too, not just these. Um, she has all kinds. She's got the the wood um, cut out the laser, whatever it's called, and so she they're putting out door hangers like crazy. So if you're interested, grab that link in the comments. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Susan, for the help. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy your weekend. Be kind to one another, and I will see you very soon. Bye.